Elon Musk is trying to conquer land with Tesla, space with SpaceX, and now he's after our brains. On Tuesday, the Wall Street Journal reported that the tech billionaire is launching a new venture called Neuralink, which will focus on linking brains to computers. According to the report, the company will further brain implant technology that can one day be used to treat neural disorders. They also call it a neural lace. It's just a little fancier than brain machine interface. Neural lace. We've seen similar tech in impressive applications, like the EEG-based brain computer interface from the University of Minnesota, which allows people to control a robotic arm only using their mind. We've seen the brain machine interface from the Walk Again project, which allows the user to control the movements of a lower limb robotic exoskeleton. And I like the DARPA funded research out of the University of Pittsburgh, which helped a quadriplegic man feel the sense of touch once again by directly connecting a robotic arm to his brain. Now, according to the report, Neuralink has already hired several leading researchers in the field. Neuralink's implants could also help the human race keep up with super intelligent computers in the future. Musk has been very outspoken about the risk that unchecked artificial intelligence poses to humans. In January 2015, he joined Stephen Hawking and other AI experts who signed an open letter on artificial intelligence from the Future of Life Institute, which called for further research on the societal benefits of AI, as well as the potential pitfalls. In a tweet, Musk said that we can expect more information on the new venture in about a week. I'm excited to see what he has in store for us. Now, another neat development. This is a U-Lion a hybrid vertical takeoff and landing UAV that takes off and lands like a helicopter and transitions in midair to fly like a normal airplane. The U-Lion was designed by a pair of PhD students with the National University of Singapore Unmanned Systems Research Group who spent four years developing the hybrid UAV. The U-Lion's wings retract and extend to stabilize the craft during takeoff and landing and provide lift during flight. The hybrid UAV would be particularly useful in both military and civilian operations whenever the user was working in a tight window, like sea surveillance or forest mapping. The viability is the reason that several companies are working on vastly different concepts, like Google's Project Wing automated aircraft hybrid UAV that recently started testing at the FAA test site run by Virginia Tech. Uline is unique because of its reconfigurable wings and vectoring thrust that adapt to the flight mission, depending on the requirements. This allows it to fly much longer than typical VTOL UAVs and have greater maneuverability compared to normal fixed wing UAVs. Now, another neat development. Army ground troops may soon have a third arm that will carry their weapon for them. Now, this isn't some sort of crude joke, but rather a device that attaches to a soldier's protective vest to free up his or her hands to hold a shield or, for example, use like a power saw during a breach. The Army Research Lab is currently testing the four pound weapon mount as they look at new ways for soldiers to interface with their weapons. According to Zach Wingard, a mechanical engineer at the lab, the hope is to be able to improve ballistic performance of future weapons without increasing soldier burden. So, like when soldiers start to carry handheld laser weapons and rail guns, it will likely increase their combat loads that already exceed 110 pounds. The third arm puts all of the weight on the soldier's body taking about 20 pounds off of their arms, which could also help keep soldiers from breaking down in training before they ever see a day in combat. The third arm is currently made out of carbon fiber composite, and the research lab is currently testing it at the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland with an M4 carbine. Though, the plan is to test larger weapons, like the M240B machine gun. Hey, it's big, that's why it's so long. M240B machine gun. Show a photo of that thing. It's a hoss. Ha! Right now, the researchers are just at the shooting range, but before they do any field testing, they'll have to ruggedize this proof of concept. I'm David Manti, this is Engineering by Design.